Hey you guys, what's up? Welcome back. Long dark. So finally, after five days, I've exhausted all my food, all those cans I brought. Five days and nights waiting for this Aurora. So here we go. Hey, hey, we made it in. The pry bar here, the drawer. That has 11 pounds of storage. 22 pounds of storage. Oh shoot, probably shouldn't have done that. I was gonna look for some, uh-oh. What the deuce? Oh, oh shoot. Oh, I didn't know there, there's a dog, dude. Okay. So it's a transition area. Um, it's a transition area. How much weight am I at? 75. There's electricity on the ground, dogs. Where'd that dog go? Where'd that dog go? Definitely don't want to go over there. Do you guys see the dog? How cool is this? Dude, I did not expect this. Okay. So, ammunition workbench, milling machine. Milling machine. Oh, you can make. Hunting rifle. Repair skill, repair amount, chance of. Oh, you, you can repair. You can repair everything here. Repair. All right. So the milling machine acts, I guess, like a workbench. Gunpowder. 30 minutes. Dude, there's a dog in here. Uh, one hour, okay. I don't think I need power for this to work. There is a workbench here too, and some simple tools. Coal, fire box in here. Dude, this place is awesome. Probably go in there after the Aurora runs out. Okay. Yeah, I brought in that pry bar from out there, huh? What have we here? Okay. This is neat. I didn't realize it was. I thought it was just going to be like open that little door and that's it. Combat boots, cargo pants, military coat. Wow, there's some good stuff in here. Looking for some food. There's a refrigerator over here. Mittens. Oh, there we go. There's some food. They seems like there's some pretty decent loot in here. That'll come handy. Those are good long johns. More cargo pants. Dang, they had the, the workers' clothes out here. Neener, neener. Those are good socks. Old 
two. I'm not picking any of this stuff up. I'm just looking right now. Oh, some socks. Kind of made this place chock-a-block full of loots, didn't they? I think I can use this. Bandage. Some condensed milk. I'm really nervous about being in here. Okay. It'd be cool to come in here and, um... Come in here and do, uh... Fill the refrigerator up with sardines and, you know, stuff like that. That'd be kind of neat. But there was a... Was was it or was it not a wolf doggy in here when I first came in? I think there was. All right. Now I should be able to... Let's see. So we have storage all in here. There, once the aurora is gone, I can go check that thing in there. Storage-wise out here... The bench. Climbing rope. Some dusting sulfur. Didn't even see this. I know it's dark, but it's dark in there, matey. It's like, no, can't break those. Something's in that corner. What's here? All right, food. 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 That's protecting a little container over there. It's a pretty neat area. I like it a lot. Oh, hello. Saw. We got the coal here. Casings. All right, so bullet. Oh, you know what? Just pick this simple tools up at least. So I'm this not is sure I can carry much This more. is the place I should have brought some advanced tools to. So it's still at an hour. Nine I can make 90 bullets with with just 15 scrap lead. So you don't need that much scrap lead. Oh, you gotta make a fire in here. Okay. Um, hopefully it doesn't have to be up to a certain temp. Do, 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 do. Two tinder plugs, please. Hope I don't get stuck in here. It's really neat in here, though. All right, I should probably just grab this. It's going to take some time. Tinder plug. Needs an active fire. So it's almost like a fort. We're going to be... Those are little bullet makers right there. That's why we need it. You see a little smoke coming out? So this is the first time I've seen the ammunition workbench. Ammunition forge, it's called. Three hours worth. All right. Bullets, two hours. Whatever. We'll do two hours right now. Oh, you hear it forging? Ding, 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 ding. What is that? Oh, shoot. The aurora is gone. 
One hour, nine minutes. Might as well pass the time in the dark making stuff. Hopefully there's no wolf in here. Rifle cartridge. All right. So with what I have... I can make 18. 1.5 hours. Okay. Somebody's hungry. I know it's dark. I'm going to I'm going to wait for morning and hope that we get out of here. Oh, that would suck if we didn't. Okay. So, we only need to wait a couple hours. Mhm. Mm <laughs> And since I'm not climbing ropes or running from bears, my fatigue meter is not going down very fast. So actually able to do it without sleeping. All right. So this is cool. I would now I should be able to go check this, right? Oh shoot. just happened shoot oh my god dude that literally just happened to me he spawned in here I got torn clothing but look my health my health is good. Okay, that's dangerous. Uh, do I need that much meat, really? <laughs> I'm taking it. Taking your meat. Remember, I don't usually take wolf meat. Something's got to go. So right here, we can do um, this, drop, one gut, the drop, give me a piece of coal. So can I get some wood from this? Yes, I can. 22 minutes. 22 minutes. Probably not going to be enough, but we're going to cook a little food here. 65% chance. Oh, gun... <laughs> Gunpowder. Dude. Seriously? I did it. That... <laughs> That's pretty dangerous. All right, two hours worth. Gamey wolf meat. Yeah, I don't know if that's a good idea. I don't know if this is a good idea. Fresh wolf meat. Eat it. I'm not going to eat all this meat. No way. Forty-nine minutes. Yeah, I think that's enough wolf meat. We'll put it over here in the corner. Okay. Yeah. Ugh. Gamey. It's a little gamey. All right, we better check our clothes real quick. Pack. This is the better way to do it. 95, 93, 97, 84. Got my boots. Got my boots. 86. Got my pants. My hat, even worse. Hat and mittens. That's not good. All right. Search. 
Nothing. Alright, can't break those things down. This is a neat little area, huh? There could be stuff hiding in places. I'm kind of moving around fairly quickly. Like that. Alright. I, I think it's neat that I was able to actually use it. Right? Got to use it. So there's a flare. This is the other thing we couldn't search yet. Could end up being useful. I'm gonna have to go back. I need to go back to, um, back home and repair all my clothes, man. Too heavy. Yeah, I know I'm too heavy. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Still heavy. I know I'm dropping that. Oh, there's drawers here, too. Summit soda? Somebody's drinking a soda at the ammo bench? So... Do I need... To make bullets, I know for sure, I need the fire on. The fire on. Fire on. Okay, stump remover. Bullets. We can make bullets. All right. Here's what we're going to do. Let's try and... I guess my safest bet is to put stuff in, in a locker. All right. Let's put in this and this and this. This and this and... Uh, one firearm cleaning kit. That... Sewing kit. Definitely the casings. Okay, this pry bar. Okay, we're looking good on that. I should see. All right, I need to go see if I can get out of here. <laughs> There's a flashlight there. Yeah, I'm a little worried about my clothes. All right, leaving workshop. I'm gonna, hopefully there's stuff on the ground out here still. Okay, that door is open, that's good. Pick up all this stuff. I'm gonna really encumber myself, but oh well. Back is getting kind of heavy. Shut up. Right. Oh, bedroll. Right. Everything from out here. I'll even pick up that. Okay, I can cut those metal shelves. I got some wood here. Got cardboard. This place is pretty neat, don't you guys think? I think so. Call me crazy. Somebody's encumbered. Dead wolf laying there. Got his guts on the ground. All right, so we're going to put, put more wood down right here. Drop all these. I'll put down these. Put down this. And the rest of the stuff I will put over here. And 66 pounds worth. Transfer that. Put that in there. Uh, I'm going to hold the simple tools on me for now because I'm going to try and repair with... Oh, I can't. I don't have gut. Dang it. All right, so let's leave the simple tools here for sure. My luck, I'll take them out of my inventory and, not, and forget to bring them back. Now, do I leave my bear skin, bear bug, bear roll here or not? 6.5. I'll drink this. <sighs> Tasty. Drink that. 
should I leave my bear thing over here? I don't need to worry about the... I don't need to worry about the... Uh, I searched these already, right? Yeah. The Aurora anymore because the door's open. Weight-wise, I'm pretty heavy. What am I carrying extra? The bullets? Oh, the charcoal. The charcoal is 6.6 .6 pounds. Transfer all that. So we need stump remover. We got good lead. We need to bring our shell casings down. That takes us to 67. Those two things, once I can repair. An extra can. Perfect rifle ammo, great rifle ammo. Does this stuff degrade as I'm carrying it around? I don't like the fact that this is not stacking, but... I mean, weight is weight, right? Weight is all the same. This is some weight here. All right. Good. We made it in here. So now the question is... Now my question to you is... 90, 90, 97. All right, so I need deer. Hide. Deer hide. 97, 98. Rabbit, rabbit, wolf. Everything else looks pretty good. All right, we need to get some deer hide. I think I have three back at the house. And ammo-wise, what did I end up with on rifle? 46 plus 10. That would be 56 to the layman. All right. Hmm. I'm contemplating on leaving this. What time is it? It's it's late. I should actually sleep in here. Yeah, let's sleep in here. Get get full rest. So I need to wait about. Four hours. Hmm. This place is really interesting. I didn't realize that it was going to be like an enclosed workshop once you breach that door, which is really cool. Okay. Drink some water. Hopefully I can reach the bed. Sleep for 12. <laughs> Yes, no mas fatigue for me. So I guess I'm going to make my way back to Mystery Lake. And I guess once I get there, I'll figure out, am I coming straight back here or... Almost didn't have enough time. There we go. Bring the sun up. Bring the sun up. All right, let's eat some gamey wolf meat. Look at his head is sticking through there. Great, right where I sleep. You can see his face. Oh, look at that. It totally drains your water. Drains your water. So that's some salty, dry stuff, I guess. How are we on food? We got three of those and water. We have less than half. So that's not, not the best for traveling, but whatever. What do you guys think? Pretty cool. So this is the milling machine where you can do repairs. And then you've got your bullet melter and your ammo workbench and a workbench. So try and uh, if I see another set, if I can figure out where that other set of tools was, I should get that and bring it here. Because I know I have one set of quality tools at, um, at the Mystery Lake House. I haven't looked at it in a while is the quality 70% that's not good I've been shooting that thing a lot I should be able to clean it pretty good my cleaning skills should be pretty high oh 58 it's not that high plus I don't have any tools on me 
I'll clean it just a couple times here. Oh, I'm already to 86. Nice. I think having the tools definitely are beneficial. Hundred percent. Almost you guys thought I was gonna harvest it, didn't you? Watch, he's gonna harvest his gun again. Seventy-six. Seventy-six. Eighty-four. Uno mas, and then we'll get a move on. I think. I think I'm gonna go against the grain here a little bit and go out the way that I said was kind of the pain in the butt way. And because I, I think that we're on this side of the bridge. We know where the thing is at now. It's got to race through uh, Forlorn and then we should be good to go. And I think this is the best way to, to drop off is here. Because you're up here at that point. All right, no baddies. Nothing in here that I need to bring back with me. It's the inverse. Well, wow, I feel super light right now. 57, I am. I'm actually lighter than I've been in a long time. Been dealing with the... Oh, there's a climbing rope in there too. And So two more climbing ropes that we know of. One is up at the uh, pensive lookout and one is in the workshop. So two climbing ropes. That's good. All right, let's see if we can... I gotta double check this trailer over here just in case, but I think I think the other one is at I think it's at the trailer at the dam. Uh, another set of advanced tools. Be nice just to have a set of advanced tools in the workshop. And then if I'm not I think I'll grab the hammer along the way. Even though you don't need the big hammer here. That's only applicable at the forge. But that hammer's just sitting out on the pier, so. I don't know, might grab it. All right, we know where to go this time. <laughs> so you say. Neener, neener, neener. That's pretty cool. That's I so just just so you guys know what we're gonna look forward to for sure is hunting and repairing of our clothes. Cause I did and probably some fishing. Been eating a lot of canned stuff lately, and it's just—it's not agreeing with me, you know. When you got, when you're all nice and warm, when you got to drop trow and <clears throat> go to the bathroom because you've been eating nothing but canned foods, yeah, yeah, it's not in here. There's a, a shelf it's sitting on. I think it's the one by the dam. I'm pretty sure it's the one by the dam. All right, now instead of going straight up this way, we got to cut across. Do, 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 do. We gotta be careful. But cutting across means you cut across all the water stuff, so that's not good. There's a tree crossing. Hey, look at that. Birch sapling. Well, there's a deer here. I might as well just grab its hide and gut. <laughs> oh, the guy's completely out of breath. What's up with that? There's you can really clearly see the bridge from this side. Let's see if we can get across this bad boy. No, it's not gonna let me up on it. Oh, oh, yes it is. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. We could run into something bad out here. I'm kind of... I'm trying to take a shortcut to the cave, but... One, I'm crossing all the water. And another thing is... There could be evil animals out here. Instead of just running up and running all the way like I did before. Ready? 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 Ooh, no cracky. No cracky. crack a lack -a. Yeah, you get a really good view of the of the tower and the bridge from this side.
I'm trying to gauge the, the time here too, as far as if this way is faster. Because out of out of everything, this is the toughest part of this route. This, and then you gotta go through that cave, obviously. But on the other end, it seems see we're ready. There's that that thingy. It means we gotta be able to make our way. Oh shoot, this might be the problem. We gotta go up there. Yeah, this, see that this might be the problem here. This thing is a giant ice cube. Can I get up over there? I'll go this way. I only have to cross this water once. Oh, geez, that's a long way across. No, no, no. Okay. Okay. <laughs> See, I would have would have had to walk across the bridge and the other side of that mountain. This doesn't look safe. Wolf. Timber wolf. That's not, not the best route you could take. There's the wolf, one of them. Two of them. I see two of them. This is the way. I remember hearing a waterfall. Am I too far to the right? Am I on the wrong side of this thing? Maybe it was fine just going up that first way I did. Ravines and... It's kind of straight up from that that hunter's blind, right? That hunter's blind is, is right down there. in my mind a little bit. Where the heck is... Did I pass it up? I thought it was all the way over here. Oh my god. Oh, I'm not, oh that is totally weak ice. What if some of those areas aren't even frozen at all? It doesn't give you the crack. You just literally drop straight through it. That would suck. It really feels like I'm in the wrong area. Is that hunter? Isn't that hunter's blind down right down there? a dead wolf. Is that it right there? I think coming that other way, which I barely had to cross anything, and it was basically a straight run, is probably going to be better than trying to shortcut it because there's too, too much water in your way. And you gotta try it. You try, try, try again, you know? Uh, what do we need to make? We need to make a torch.
torch, please? We made it. We made it. What if I ran out of matches? I haven't checked them lately and I haven't been picking them up. <laughs> that would suck. Like, oh yeah, make a torch. Uh, wait, you can't. You don't need matches. Make a fire. You're freezing to death. Oh, you can't. You don't need matches. Dun. I never remember which way to go except for that one hiker that's hunched over. Right here. Come straight past him. Took a right. Climb down. It did. Okay. Alright. Listen, you guys. It's the fourth time in a row. I, have I think I have it figured out. I think I know what it is now. I think I know what it is. The same button to extinguish it and put it away is climb. So if you're here, it's gonna climb. I better check my matches first. I have 11 matches left. So I clicked extinguish, but I was sitting here and it climbed and dropped the torch. That's the fourth time in a row I've done that. Just saying. Just saying. I can't believe I didn't take any damage on that wolf attack. Like, I didn't take any damage to my health, just my clothes. And I chose the hatchet to attack him. We do some fish and get ourselves some fish oil back. Because I'm, I'm actually out of lamp oil. I think I only have two thirds of what I need, it said. Make another torch. Leaving cave. Alright, we're in the forlorn muskeg. I still think overall that this way is probably. If you're at the cannery, if you're at the cannery and you want to go straight back to Mystery Lake house that I live in, I think this way is going to be faster. Because right now, this area here would be equal to the ravine crossing. Um, in in the Bleak Inlet, you, if you're at the cannery, you got to go back across the bridge and then up the valley, which would be equal or more than going straight up to the cave but once you get into mystery lake you're you're the other way you're at the dam and this way you're right at the you know right close and to the uh to the hut the house the place of ill repute this place is definitely more dangerous but also remember you have that long climb up the ravine from the lower ravine to the upper ravine. Did I really scavenge this thing? So I think this way, even though, you know, either way is pretty long, but I think that um, I think that this is the shorter of the two. Just gonna go with that. I'm gonna go with that. Try and drop a little weight by eating. Oh, the sardines give you a touch of, uh, of water, too, or, you know, hydration. I didn't notice that before. Uh, depends on what they're, what, you know, you've seen that, right? You've seen, like, sardines in olive oil. Sardines in... Hold on. Shoot. Oh, shoot, dude. That was way too close. That short little... I think I went around this. No, I didn't because there's the tower. Okay. Anyway, sardines in water? Doubt it. Sardines in oil? Olive oil? Sardines in mustard? So, 
something that they're in, I'm drinking in this game, and that's not probably not good. But it gave me hydration, so. The other thing is, we haven't looked at that uh, homestead over there. It's just an area that we haven't looted. But there, there is a forge there, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so if you put yourself in a real situation like this, right? Say you're in a real, a real survival situation. You would not be doing what I'm doing. You wouldn't be hoofing it back and forth to other regions. You'd find yourself a region. And on the way there, loot on the way there. And once you get there, you'd you'd establish yourself a place. Now, Bleak Inlet out there, pretty good. Because of the, the you've got everything but the forge. And you can get the forge here. So you can make your ammo back. Um, hunting wise, there's a bear. I think we saw some deer, and there's definitely timber wolves for days. No birch bark tea. Actually, we found a birch bark sapling. Am I going the right way? Yeah, there's the tracks right there. Start to second guess yourself. I just want to repair my clothes, man. I don't know if I have enough gut. Hunting and fishing. Get some fish oil. Some omega in me. Kill some animals. Wear their hides as trophies. <laughs> so this is the part that I'm talking about. When you get... When you transition back into Mystery Lake, I, I this is definitely the shorter, shorter side of it. Not coming out at the dam. And it's two two less rope climbs, right? Two less big, big rope climbs, which doesn't make sense. You know, it doesn't make sense. You're going vertical and vertical. We walk straight in here and walk straight in there. And we're dropping down, going the other way. And yet we end up on the higher point in inlet, in the bleak inlet. Doesn't make sense. There I go, thinking in real world again. Don't you know games don't rely on physics? Ooh, somebody's tired. But see, instead of coming out by the dam, we're, we're down at this end, which is close to our place. Now, the first thing we do when we get in there, I'm going to go look and see what do I have for stump remover, dusting sulfur, and casings, because I don't think I brought my stuff with me. I think the stuff that I had, I found along the way, which was a fair amount. Like, what did we make? 18 bullets? And there's still more gunpowder? I was just, it was the lack of me melting down the lead, I think, that stopped us. Or the cases, even. Maybe it was just the cases, so. Yeah, that's pretty good. I think that the developers probably said, well, look, you know, we better put some of these products in this region because... If you get all the way there, find that and go, uh, where do I find this stuff, you know? Yeah, I'd be curious. I'd be curious to see which way is faster, but I like the other way. Other than the fact that there's two rope climbs and they're very, they're the, I would consider the lo two longest in the game. At least from what I've come across. There might be longer ones somewhere, but they're they're long enough. They're long enough, I can tell you that. Home sweet home. Number one. <laughs> I've got so many home sweet homes. I've got loot spread out all over this joint. Okay. We do have gut. We have some hides. Alright, let's drop. Let's drop our hide uh, first. This one, fresh, and fresh, fresh, and fresh. Right. So there's going to be some hides there. We'll drop these gut. Drop those gut there, and then I'll take one, two cured gut. Let's take a quick peek here. Like I said, empty, empty, this one. All right. 
So I've got cured leather in there. I've got simple tools. Spare stuff to make cloth. Magnifying glasses, accelerants. All right, that's that drawer. In this drawer, firearm cleaning kit, the extra rifle. Must be upstairs. Brrrp. Brrrp. Yeah, look at that. Look at all that stump remover I have. Holy cow. And there's some quality tools. I'm going to need this whetstone, I think. 64%. Yeah, we'll take the whetstone to use it. Quality tools. Okay, that's that drawer. The upper drawer. More leather. More cleaning kits, knives. There's my fishing stuff. My revolver. Here, 38 casings. 19 casings. 100 rounds of revolver. And my arrows. And two more whetstones. So, yeah, we're doing pretty good. We're doing pretty good, I think, as far as that goes. Um, where were those quality tools at? Let's just grab those just in case while we do this. So what we're going to try and do right now is repair this. We better repair or someone's getting throat punched. Last time I tried it, it didn't work. 100%. Okay. Gloves. Telling you, someone's gonna get punched if it doesn't work. Jam! It worked. All right, good. So those are back to 100%. Now my boots and my pants are gonna require deer, which I have some dried already down here. There's one. There's two. I've got wolf. I got wolf. I got two more deer drying. And I've got maybe four gut. Four gut. All right, boots. Repair. Did that just say repairing skill novice? Hmm. I guess the best way to increase that is to always repair your cloth stuff. All right, 100%. And then deer skin. Oh, it's going to be dark. We're not going to find our bed. Oh. We've got electricity going. Look, the radio's on. Oh, we can watch YouTube videos. Suggest to something to the new seasonal high temperatures. Recommend further study to confirm shift in migration. Previous observations confirm their presence. Suggestions adaptation. Huh. It got clearer as I looked at it longer. Neat. Hey, why isn't this one working? What the? What the deal? Oh, shoot. It's dark right there. The light's on. I love it. That light's on. Ooh, it's creepy at night. That's why I'm always sleeping through the night. All right. I think I can get 11 hours and be fine with it. I think I can get 11 hours and be fine with it. Okay, so we've got a bunch of we've got a bunch of lead down there. We've got more stump remover, dusting powder, and shells. Um, I'm gonna need to make some water. I should probably do some fishing. Hmm. Clothes wise. Oh, wolf one's a little bit damaged. Hmm. All right, let's do some fishing. Where were my fishing things at? Top drawer? There they are. Fishing tackle. Uh, I'll take two. I'll take two. Let's go do some fishing. Burn, 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 burn. How much water do I actually have? quarter of a gallon it's not a lot but I'm full right now so 
so that's good. I'll make a... Between episodes, I'll make... I'll use my big pot. I'll make some water whilst I am cooking fish. Now, see, here's the thing. This lake... No cracky. Thank goodness. Because look how... Look, I go out in the middle of this thing. Now that I said that, please don't crack on me. You know what I mean? I walked on this lake like it was a guaranteed no fall through, like it was a parking lot. Then I walk in those other little areas, even a little slim area, and I almost fall through. Got some deer over there. Now somebody had said in the comment section that these fishing huts without the door, um, I don't know if it was during the aurora or something, but they will come in and attack you, which is kind of a given. I, I would think that I would think that they would. Seven shark. Wow, seven shark in there. Okay. All right. Oh, I didn't I didn't fix this yet, but let's break the ice with that because it seems like that seems like the better tool. Like you don't have to pick at it with your dang uh, knife. Use your hatchet or your axe. That's what real real ice fisher people do. All right. So. What do you think? Six hours? Might be way too much fish. Depending on how good I am. Apparently I'm not that good. Oh, there's one. So the white fish are small. I got some that were like seven pounders. And the white fish were really... Oh no! You can clear a hole. You can clear a hole. I did not know that. Interesting. Now we find something new out every day. You can clear an ice hole. <laughs> Don't be such an ice hole. <laughs> you knew that was coming a mile away. You guys like, he's going to say it. You're being an ice hole. <laughs> right. Apparently, apparently you can clear an ice hole. Which is good. You always want a nice, clean ice hole, right? <laughs> it's not going to stop. You guys do it to me, so... Um, wait. Maybe I was wrong. It said cleared. That one said cleared. Maybe I was wrong. But whatever. Don't be an ice hole about it. <laughs> Woo! It's the little things in life that amuse the meaty. No, see... Did I break my hook? Is that what I did? I probably broke the hook. Yeah, I broke the hook. That's all I did. You're like, me, you broke the hook, you big ice hole. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, where am I? This way. That is too funny. That is too funny. I'm on a roll. I broke my hook. Ice hole cleared means there's no ice in your way. Dang, meaty, read the dang screen. You never do. I know that's what you're whispering to yourself, but that's fine. No need to be a... <laughs> oh, in this on a high note. <laughs> Wind's picking up a bit. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do... Some cooking. I'm going to make some water. I'm going to tear some cloth and repair my cloth stuff. I'm going to whetstone my axe and knife. And then we'll come back in the next episode. I, you know, I know the, like, look, I've been wanting to go to the Bleak Inlet forever. We finally went there. We came out, went there, came out. I kind of want to go back with all of my stuff and see what we can make, right? Like bullet-wise. And then, you know, we probably probably basically would be done with it, you know, if we make enough bullets. Come back up here. Come back up here and get prepped and ready to go. So, and go to Timberwolf Mountain. Yeah. Now I have, um, so I have a, 
I have storage. What? Well, let's start here. Desolation point. I've got storage. Like a. Let's just call it. Um, what are we gonna call that? A uh, uh, house, a hut, a uh, camp. We have storage. Desolation point. We have storage. Coastal highway. We have remain storage at Mystery Lake. We have storage at Pleasant Valley in both Molly's place and at my little house next to the church. We have storage in Broken Railroad at the maintenance yard. Um, I didn't make a storage in Mountain Town. And we have a storage at Bleak Inlet. Two different storages, actually, in Bleak Inlet. You know, it took it. I just set up two until I got in there. Um, but I think that's what we'll do. I want to go back into Bleak Inlet. Let's make make as much as we can just just because we can get back out of there. Be kind of done with that, I think, for now. Um, and then go to. Make our way through Pleasant Valley, which is big and get up to Timberwolf Mountain, see what that place looks like. So that's my plans. Anyway, that's it, you guys. See you guys next episode.